Third grade math in a nutshell. First draw the groups, then draw the X's in each group. Let's count all the X's. This is your product. First draw the groups, then put one at a time in all the groups. A many in each group. That is your quote. Same three numbers. Division starts with the total. Multiplication ends with it. Flip floppy other numbers. The order of the factors doesn't matter. The product is the same. The order of the factors doesn't matter. The product is the same. The way you group factors doesn't matter. The product is the same. The way you group factors doesn't matter. Oh, the product is the same. Oh. Break it apart into two equations. Solve these parts, combine back together. This is your product. Multiplication and division are reverse multiplication is combining groups. Division is separating into them. Arithmetic patterns, oh so fine. In numbers, they intertwine. Addition and multiplication, they play. Let's explore them in a riff make way. Multiply the digits in front of the zeros, then place the zeros at the end. Fractions show part of a whole. Numerator is parts you have, denominator is total parts. Numerator is greater than denominator, which means the number is greater than one. Improper fractions. Improper fractions. Fractions are equivalent if they cover the same area or land on the same spot on the number line. The denominators are the same. The larger numerator is the bigger fraction. When numerators are the same. The smaller denominator is the bigger fraction. Multiply the bottom numbers to create a common denominator. Cross multiply to get your new numerators. Compare new fractions. First, look at the hour hand and choose the hour it has passed. Then, count by fives for the minutes. And add ones if needed. Find any lapse of time. First count the hours when you are close. Count on by minutes. Now you are done. Begin with the start time. First add the hours. Then add the minutes. Now you have your end. Yeah.
Geometry and jaws. 